Hello you, welcome back. I hope the world is treating you awesome. Let me go ahead, I'll have the colors running down below. So let me explain what I got going on here. Just a standard pre-stretched 16 by 20 inch canvas. I went ahead and applied some black gesso as you can tell, painted in like a little castle here and some foliage. And I just used a, a foam brush actually for this section here and all here. And then with this, I, I went ahead and used a combination of a liner brush and a flat brush to give me that. And so this canvas, this canvas today is completely dry. We're gonna go ahead and apply some, some white medium. And today I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, some Bob Ross liquid, liquid, uh, liquid white. Sorry, couldn't spit those words out. But uh, also I'm gonna have a description down below of what colors I'll be using and the brands because I never use the same brand on my palette. I have several brands that are on there. So I'll have that in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some, some of the white medium. So I have a, just a cheap old chip, chip brush here that I use to do this. And remember, you wanna, you want a thin, thin amount of this stuff, okay? And so you're gonna come in here and you're gonna just scrub it in, okay? Just scrub it on you. And you may need to look to the side like so, um, especially if you're painting like inside, but you can go like so and you'll be able to see the glare, okay? And so you're gonna apply just a very, very thin, thin amount of this stuff, okay? Very, very thin amount. And what's nice, if you put this stuff in, you can see just how thin you kind of need it. And there you go, something like so. And I'm just scrubbing it in, okay? Just scrubbing it in. So if you ever have trouble putting, if you ever have trouble putting in your white medium, you can paint, the canvas like with a like a, a gray gesso very very like kind of light gray or gesso whatever gesso you'd like and when you apply then you see how much you have on there okay and so i'm just gonna scrub it into this into this canvas here okay very very thin thin amount okay as i keep telling you and then you scrub it in Okay, just like so. And I'm applying this really no different than if I do clear or if I do white on white. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference, okay? Now I'm just gonna go up and down. I'm gonna leave these little blotches here. I can't go over it, but I want to have this to be very misty. So, and then side to side real quick. And I'm not sure if there's a glare. I've changed obviously the setting and I've added some lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check the, check it real quick. I may need to check, or excuse me, I may need to change the camera angle. So, all right, let's check this out. Okay, we went ahead and we applied some of that white medium to, to the canvas. So now it's slick and wet and, and ready to rock and roll. And so let's go ahead and let's make a, make a little bit of color here. Or actually, you know what? Let me put this knife down. I was gonna use the knife, but let's go ahead and just, let's pull out that two inch brush. And we're gonna go into, into our black here, okay? You don't want a lot, very thin, thin amount. So I'm gonna start in the corner so we can work our way. See, that's gonna be a little, I think a little too much. I'm just gonna wipe off some. Let me come over here. And I'm just gonna work right now and let the medium work for me. It's very, very dark. But it's okay, we're gonna, we want some dark in there, so it's okay, all right? There we go. 
There we go. down for just a second and I'm gonna grab a, another two inch brush and I'm just gonna just go like this and I want this castle to kind of be pushing the distance but I want it for you to be able to see it so let's go ahead and just there we go flat brush I'm gonna go into some white and just a touch of that maybe a little bit darker right. wipe that off I'm gonna grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab a palette I may need to add and make some more. I don't think that's going to be enough. Just want a little bit at a time here. All right, we'll see what we get. Might be too light. small side to get up here so that I struggle with this. this is why I put this in first because my hands are so shaky so I really struggled with this stuff but I... there we go let me see okay it's coming in just wanted to make sure yeah I'm gonna go over here as well all I'm doing is I'm touching and very softly just sliding it over Do the same here. Use the small side of the knife, it would be helpful. And I'll go over here. I apologize, and quiet. Just trying to think here. I want you to be able to see it, but very, very, very lightly. I don't want like a misty, misty thing going here, okay? Try right here. Just like that. I have a very small amount, small amount of paint. Wipe the knife. Come over here like so. Maybe use the small side of the knife again. Be a lot easier. And same thing. Same thing. Small side of the knife again. All right, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Prussian blue here, since I have it on here. I'm gonna add it here. 
a little bit of this black. And let's see what we get. And what I'm gonna do is just, I only want a small amount, so I'm gonna go like this. This small, small amount. I just wanna darken a little, just a couple little spots here. And right here. Same thing here. See my hand shaking? So tough for me. So tough. Something like so, then over. Right here. Wipe the knife. I'm gonna come in and just there we go. Sit in here. Just nice indication. Just want it, want it to see like or show that it's kind of stone, you know. And right here. I have that in there for a reason. Okay. And then I'm gonna take, take the black and come over here again. Small side. struggle. Oh. Here we go. It's got to fix this steeple. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. I'm gonna tap into a little bit of white. Very, very softly. Very softly. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm just gonna clean clean my knife, go into some white, pull it out. going to start putting in 
and some steers. And we will blend, blend the white in as well. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. And I'm just touching, 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 touching. again and very very softly now I'll grab that knife try this again small side Just go into the go into the white. Come in and just lighten that a little bit, put a little guy in there. So let's go ahead and just grab maybe a little bit of a little bit of this yellow, maybe there you go. Maybe the lights are on right there. Okay, with your palette knife, I'm just going to use some of this color right here. I'll just put it right here, it's fine. Put there. I'm gonna go with some black and a touch of that blue. And just make yourself a nice little pile here. Clean the knife. And I think I'll grab the fan brush and go into here. sides and um, let's let's go ahead and just put a nice little line of trees right here here. darken that up slightly. There we 
go. And we'll go ahead and take a take my two inch brush, go into tap into some white here. And let's go right here on the foot. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use my palette knife, go into, into my white, come on over here, and maybe, I'm just rubbing. Just like that. Feel good, feel confident. This is probably gonna be a long video, I can tell, but just come in and do your thing. Feel good. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and Let's maybe go ahead and try to put a stone, maybe a stone fence right here. So I'm gonna go into the black, straight down. I'll just grab this stuff right here too. Just put it here, just go into, actually just scoop up some black. We'll just go use this pile right here. There we go. And let's try to figure out how we want this. Make it something like so. Go a little bit more right here. Right now we're just blocking it in. Figure out how we want this. All right. And then maybe right here. And then come in. Maybe add a little bit more. Something like so. Maybe. Maybe there we go. Sorry if my back and my head's in your way. I am on an angle, so I'm trying my best to kind of make sure it's somewhat straight. Okay. And so I'm gonna take some white. Let me clean a knife. So 
I'm gonna take some white, we'll go right here, and I'm gonna add the same color to it. And let's go. Let's see what color we get. Yeah. Go with that, maybe add a little bit of this burnt umber to it. And a little bit of the white. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right, that's a little bit, a little bit better. So all I'm doing is I got to get a small roll, and I'm just going across, going across. Okay. That's it, just keep doing that. Makes it look all rigid. And we'll go back and add a little, little dark or, and a little bit of white and stuff will stick right out a little bit better. So just go like this and go across, okay? dark color, come back in. Clean the knife, grab some white. And just a couple little nicks. Same thing over here. some more white so if you can bear with me a moment okay I got some more white on my palette I'm gonna go ahead and use that palette knife I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of this white here and I'm gonna come in I just want to put some something here some paint there and we go into the black and just real quick I want to just want to put in a fence go and let's see I need my shaky hands something like so
Give me one second here. Something there, something like that. All right, when you grab his palette knife, go back into the white. Yeah, I don't wanna. Just come in and touch the top of it. Just a tad little bit of this medium here. This stuff is just not sticking. Try this again. Let's see. There we go. A little bit better. Go ahead and use some of the umber. And I'm going to use the smaller knife. Grab some umber. And I'm going to go ahead and put something like so. Grab that liner brush, go into a little bit of the medium or a little bit of the paint thinner. I'm gonna go into some of the ochre here. Thinner, I'm going to go into the yellow. And then a little bit of this white medium and white I have right here. Oops, just a little. There we go. So it's like little, little flames, I guess. Just a tad bit of that yellow over right back in there. There you go. We go into the black here again. And I just want to put some lines, a little post. Go ahead and grab a two inch brush. Tap into some of the white here. Just mist it up a little bit. There we go, a little bit more here. I'm 
grab a little bit of this blue and some of the black, not too much. brush I'm gonna go into the white and I'm gonna start coming in like so and I'll go back over with the palette knife as well I just want some little things that are there all right let me put this down have that palette knife start put in some stuff something for over here. There, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fan brush. I'm gonna go into, the, into black and some, some of the umber. Just mix it up, just use the rest of the burn number anyways, no worries. Go into the black. And... Let's just go ahead and put something in right there. again go into the paint thinner and let's go ahead and put in put in some branches Remember, wherever you'd like to put the branches, they're going to be perfect. Wherever you'd like. So 
something like so. Go ahead and darken it up right there. There we go, nice little branch. Let me add a little bit more of that paint thinner to this. Like I said, wherever you want them, it's going to be perfect. No worries. There we go. Something like so. You could sit here all day. Love. Love using the liner brush, it's a lot of fun. There we go. All right, and with that, Let's go ahead and just sign this guy. Actually, let me fix fix some stuff here. Let me go ahead and take a little bit of this, a little bit of this white here, what I got left, and maybe do something like so. Much weight left. And branch here, branch there with the white. There we go, something like that. And then we'll just come over here. And that's it. And I'm just gonna kind of tap in a little bit like so. Just grab the last of this white here. Last little bit. Now I'm gonna come in here and Go. Maybe just a little bit 
So the white right there, it's killing me looking at it. So let me, let me just dip into some of the white medium because I'm out of white and I just don't feel like going to get some more. And I'll just come in and There we go. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna go into the liner brush into my dark. And I just wanna put in a little little something there. And other than that, let's go ahead and just sign this guy and be done with it. Remember, you just need some thin paint. We'll slide right over this. There we go. Well, that completes our winter castle scene that we've done today. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Keep a lookout for any tip videos I'm going to be posting those and I, I really enjoyed our time today. So if you did paint along, I definitely want to thank you for painting with Mike. And remember if Mike can paint, so can you. Until next time, please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.